Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to my channel. I am Coach Sherry. I'm in my car. So this is Car Chat and all that. And I'm coming here today to ask this question. And please leave your comment in the box below. Who or what are you worried about? Who or what are you worried about? Who or what you're worried about in your life? You know, not um, something that they are doing, but what, how you feel it might or may or may not impact you. Who or what are you worried about? And I'll give you just a few seconds to type in that person's name or that thing's name in the comment section. I hope everybody's having a good day today. So far, so good for me. The weather here in Charlotte has drastically changed. It went from mid-July type temperatures to December temperatures. Today is only supposed to be a high of 54 degrees. I'm like, wait, what does that look like? What does that feel like? So I do have on this heavy blazer. It's really thick. It's very comfortable, toasty. So I'm hopeful that it's enough. I didn't feel like bringing out a full coat or anything. So... Did you all write down who or what you were worried about? All right, perfect. So I'm asking this question because I hear so many people being concerned about what other people are saying, what they're saying about them that may or may not be true, what other people are doing, things that play, people, places, and things that they absolutely have no control over. You know, oh, this person thinks this about me. This person looks at me this way. Oh, when I walk into the room, what are people going to say? What are they going to think? Oh, when I left, what did people say? What did people think? You know, people are always worried about people and things absolutely that they have no control over. And I was thinking about it because it was just, it just kept coming into my, my realm of things, my spirit. And I said, you know what? It's not about those people. It's not about those things that you should be worried about. Again, I'm in my car. I don't have it on. I don't have my ring light. So listen, just rock with me. Hold on. I'm so bootleg with this this morning. <laughs> so it's not those people or things that you should be worried about. At the end of each day, at the end of every moment, every situation, you know what you should be worried about? God. Did what you what you just did, what you just accomplished, was it pleasing to him? Was it pleasing to God? That is who you should be worried about. That is what you should be worried about. Because that's the only person, place, or thing that has any real impact in your life. <laughs> no one can guarantee you anything. No one can direct you in the right way but him. So at the end of the day, you should be wanting God to say, job well done. Well done. He's the only one that matters. It doesn't matter what other people think of you. It doesn't matter what people say. God got you. He got you. He did not bring you to it to just leave you there at the at the edge of the cliff. He brought you to it to help you get through it. So at the end of the day, you just look to him and say, God, how how was I? Was I pleasing to thee? Because that's what really matters. You know, if you see other people and you're worried about, oh, they got this raise or they making this amount of money or they got that contract or whatever, don't be disgruntled against them. First of all, what, did you want them to turn it down? <laughs> you don't know what their journey was to get there. I look at it as they got that. Well, so can I. So can I. And then that's when you determine what do you need to do to step up your game? What do you need to do to groom to get better? You know, it's like a game when a, when you play in a game, there's always going to be someone that wins and someone that doesn't. Right. So when I coached basketball, I would be like, listen, if we don't come out as winners from this game, we want that other team to remember your numbers when they go on that bus. <laughs> that, you know what, number 22, oof, we might have won, but they were blocking all my shots or they made it real challenging for me to take my shot. And they may not say that out loud to the teammates, but they will be saying it in their head. You want to be in their head. You want to be remembered. All right. So that's how you win, by being remembered for doing something great. 
And your greatness, is, again, is not always going to come out as a win, but you want to still do it great and play to the very end. Don't ever give up. Don't worry about what the people are saying in the stands. Don't worry about what those naysayers are saying about what you can't do, what you won't do. It's not up to them to determine. But if you continuously worry about them, then you will reach their standard. You will reach the goals that they set for you, which are going to be very low. You won't be, you won't reach your full potential. So at the end of the day, again, you seek to him and say, God, Am I pleasing to you? You really want to hear job well done. And that is on every day because no day is guaranteed. We are not guaranteed. So each day you have to make every action, every step, every punch you take count because it might be your last one. And if it's your last one, you really want to hear job well done, my child, because he wants you to do well. He does. And that's all that matters. That's all that matters. He truly wants you to be your best and do your best. So don't worry about the people that you can see. It's the people and the places and the things that you can't see that really has your destiny in their hands. All right, everyone, that's all I have for you this morning. And, you know, you might have edited your your response in the comment and that's okay. But if you didn't, keep it real, be authentic. Yeah, you may have thought it was somebody else or something else that you were concerned about. And now you know different. All right, so remember, every day practice, practice so hard, take action, get better, make what you're weak at, make that stronger, keep your strength strong, look at your opportunities, look at the threats and figure out, strategize how you can overcome those threats. Be your very best every day. So when you are playing and you listen, after practice, even during practice, you're playing, but you wanna play to win. That's all I have. I am Coach Sherry. It's been my honor to bring this information to you. Thanks for tuning in and stay safe.